What now, as far as gifts go, did you get anything technology related? Yes. Um, what did you get? I asked Santa Claus to bring me an NVIDIA Shield. Whoa. And yeah, so um, NVIDIA Shield is the top-ranked Android TV box. And uh, they what's great about them is they have constant updates. So imagine you've got your cell phone. So, Dan, you've got an iPhone. And that's yeah. one of the great things about iPhone. As soon as there's a new version of iOS, it's out there and everybody gets it. And uh, NVIDIA Shield is kind of that way. I don't want to call it an iPhone because by no means is it iOS. It's Android and it's Android TV, but uh, their updates come seamless and quick. Whereas I've had an Android box before. It was Minix. Uh, they're a company out of China and it was a good box when I bought it. It was cheap. You know, I think I paid 75 bucks for it. Well, you have the box so you can do things like Kodi and stuff, right? Oh, yeah, I've got Cody. Actually, I haven't put Cody on this one yet. I put one on there called uh, Movie Flicks. It's replaced Showbox. Showbox recently was taken down by um, Hollywood, and so all, all the servers seized. So there's a whole bunch of new ones out there that have all replaced it, of course. Um, everybody's looking for it. And it's kind of like Netflix for torrents. And so it's got a really easy uh, UI or GUI so you can understand where you're going. It, it looks just like Netflix, but for all kinds of movies and TV shows. What's the name of it again? Uh, movie Flicks. Movie Flicks. is the one I'm using. But there's like a dozen clones. They probably all, I guarantee they all use the same torrents. And you can use Real Debrid, which is, uh, I probably pronounced that wrong, but it's a service that you can subscribe to that actually gives you access to the best downloads, highest quality, fastest. Um, but if you really don't care, like me, and you know, I'm trying to save a buck, then I really only have it when something I really want to see isn't on Netflix. So I have so many questions about this NVIDIA Shield. Number one, how big is it? Can you hide it behind your TV? Oh yeah, it's tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So the original NVIDIA Shield was a little bit bigger. I'm trying to decide how I could describe it, but the new like one Like an alarm is, clock size or? Yeah, the new one's an alarm clock size. I'd say it's twice the size of my cell phone. So, and I've got uh, the nine here. Mm, so the fancy. Galaxy S9 Plus. So I would say it's probably three times as thick and twice as long, but just about this wide. Like it's it's probably six inches, six okay. inches by two inches roughly. So it's small, it's tiny. Like Where it's, do you put it? Do you could you like tape it on the back of your screen so nobody would see it underneath hanging or? Oh yeah, you could you could literally tape it behind your TV if it if there's enough room back there. I mean, just like a Chromecast. Um, oh. Um, Chromecasts are tiny, so are Roku's. This isn't quite yeah. that tiny, but it's still pretty good. Um, you've got all kinds of USB ports on it, so you can plug in external hard drives. You've got, um, uh, like you could do your your internet directly into it with Cat5. So, and it also has all the wireless functions too. And it's a Chromecast. So, oh, so you can cast from your phone or from your laptop? Yep. It is a Chromecast, so it's virtually created my current Chromecast useless because I don't need to, and it's got a built-in Google Assistant. So it's it's just like having a Google Home, a, a TV box, and a Chromecast all mixed into one. Oh, that's it, pretty good. It I, is okay, crazy. I have a few more questions. Um, number one, about Chromecast, have you tried to stream your laptop onto your TV through the NVIDIA Shield? And is it only what's on your Chrome web browser? Or can you do your, your, can you share your whole screen? So I have, but it's been a long time since I've, I've streamed to the Chromecast, uh, probably a couple of years when I first got it. So yes, you can. Anything that you've got in your Chrome browser, you can stream. And I believe there are third-party apps that you can install either, I have a Mac, um, but I believe they're uh, even more available on PCs that allow you to stream anything that's on your computer as if you were actually like mirroring it onto your Chromecast. Sure. So yeah, you can do that. Um, I do know that just recently Google's trying to stop that. So they're no longer supporting a plugin 
to stream from Chrome browser. I may be wrong. I just saw the headline. I didn't read it, but it sounds like they're not going to support that function. But it doesn't mean you won't be able to get third-party apps that will be able to do that function. Okay, the other question I have is, do you have access to Amazon Prime, YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, all of it. Showtime, all of it? Plex. So something that people use a lot is Plex, which mm -hmm. is a replacement for live TV. And uh, I haven't really gotten into Plex. It looks really neat, uh, but you still subscribe. So, you know, it's just one more subscription. And if I subscribe to Netflix and Hulu and Prime and Plex and Sling and, you know, all the other options, I might as well have just stayed with cable <laughs> and yeah and it, it takes a little bit of fiddling around to get it all set up now netflix is easy amazon prime is easy hulu's prime i mean hulu is easy to install so um you know it doesn't take a lot to get those set up but if you want to get into streaming torrents and things like that so cody is quite complex mm -hmm. and there's lots of different builds you can download i mean we could do an entire string of podcasts just talking about cody and oh, how to set it up and which builds are the best and you know um which add-ons are the best but they constantly get taken down and that's why a lot of people like Real Debrid or Debid. Anyways, they they like that service, which people actually are paid money to get the best torrents and set up beautiful servers super fast, and they've got them all over the world. And uh, apparently, it makes it seamless and super easy. I just don't want to pay for that because personally, 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm just going to watch something that's on Netflix. Yeah, me too. And there's been some pretty cool stuff on there lately. Like, um, have you seen Bird Box yet or the new Black yes. Mirror movie? Yeah, so I've seen, so the Bandersnatch showed up a couple of days ago, but I haven't had a chance to watch it. It's and cool. I, is it scary? It's not that it's scary. Um, in true Black Mirror fashion, yeah. I mean, it's all about messing with your head. Yeah, and, and it leaves uh, you a little weird at the end. <laughs> I, I think what Netflix has found is they get a lot of success um, when they talk about 80s things, like, you know, how yeah. um, Stranger Things is yeah. retro and it's got that cool music. I swear they like probably got the same composer for Bandersnatch because it's all that really awesome 80s music. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, you can actually yeah. even pick which uh, music he listens to in his Walkman. Really? So, yeah, yeah, that's it's cool. pretty fun. I think you're going to enjoy it, but uh, maybe not something for your kids. <laughs> so that's interesting because I read an article maybe six months ago when they were talking about having interactive programming on Netflix. And they actually mentioned Black Mirror was going to be the first experiment for adults. Apparently, they've had this interactive streaming TV for kids for a while now, which I didn't know. My kids haven't told me about, like, choose-your-own-adventure style stuff. But, you know, that's pretty neat that you can choose the soundtrack for the show. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. It kept uh, I kept picking um, forks that it took me back, and it was like, well, you're kind of at the end now, so we're going to just put you back here at this part, you know? Oh, so, like, how long did it take you to get through it? You know, I was in the airport coming back from Christmas, and uh, I, I did it for maybe 50 minutes, and I wasn't really getting anywhere in the story because I kept picking the wrong thing, but uh, <laughs> it was fun to see all the different possibilities, and, uh, you know, I'll definitely jump back on it. Um, I'm not sure, though, if you can use it with the NVIDIA Shield or the Roku. Um, I was on my phone, so there was, you know, buttons that popped up that yeah. I could touch. And so I'm, I'm not sure how you can watch Bandersnatch on, on Roku. I'm going to try it. Um, doesn't Roku, it, it's got uh, like a little circular functionality where you can go up, down, left, right, and yeah. select, right? Yeah, I so don't see why not. You should be able to, as soon as it comes up, you should be able to move that way. The NVIDIA Shield's got a very similar thing. And a lot of these Android boxes uh, have like air mice where oh, they yeah. have gyroscopes inside. And so it basically moves a little arrow around like an air mouse. So um, yeah, I, I might actually just try it on the uh, NVIDIA Shield. The problem is it might scare my children, eh? <laughs> yeah, it, might, it is kind of a scary one.